It's really hard to beat a Chevy HD. And when you add slate gray metallic into the mix, it's really, really hard to beat a Chevy HD. I borrowed this truck from Jerry Signer Chevrolet here in Salt Lake City. This spec is available. Let's go ahead and check out the window sticker so you guys can see the options and features and then I'll show you guys around this truck. Now be sure to stay till the end. I'm gonna show you guys the payload so these options will affect that number. So that's why it's good for you guys to see this as well as the payload if you wanna build a truck exactly like this. But here's all the description at the very top with the powertrain and colors. Some of the standard equipment is down below here. And then here is the base price at $56,200. This one does have the Duramax Z71 Sport Edition, uh, has the All-Star Edition, which is a really good package to consider. Sunroof, leather, auxiliary trailer camera, this thing has everything. And then a few more options here. Destination is 1995 with a total price of $79,185. Make no mistake, this truck is absolutely decked out. It is missing one very important option that I'm not gonna say in this video. You guys put it in the comment section. You know what's missing, right? But when you get that Sport Edition, I like what GM has done. They give you that slate gray to break up the black on the grill and it's absolute fire. Now the Sport Edition does paint the bumpers. You get this black trim piece down below. You get this hood scoop finish in a bright black paint. And then you get the blackout on the badges. This one has that forward facing camera with the sprayer there. And here's that Z71 badge. Your LED headlights are gonna come standard for LT. And down below you guys can see your fog lights. These are finished obviously in LED too. And one thing I do like about this truck is the stance like a lot of people still say that this truck doesn't look that great i think that the 2020 to 2023 lts were nice but the 2024 ups are fire like i think it has like that really mean look and they did a great job completing and refreshing that front end 18 inch wheels do come standard they are wrapped in a really good tire these are the michelin ltx tires at2s and here's the tire size, LT275-7018. Capacity is gonna be 3,640 pounds at 80 PSI. You have that fabric material in the front wheel well, Rancho shocks, wax coating on the framing. And then you have the plastic fender flare and Z71. Now I think I might've made a mistake. This truck may come standard with halogen headlights. I might've messed that up. So these LED headlights are an option, but LTZ and up does give you LED headlight standard. More badging on the side. And up top here. And then you have your tubular style fixed running boards down below. Some of that black badging. And then they do give you a black trimming around the mirrors that breaks up this ugly plastic. Although their plastic doesn't look too bad. You have those forward lights and you have your trailer reverse lights here, blind spot monitoring. No chrome on the side of this truck, black door handles. It does really look good. GM does have a class leading bed size and they do have a lot of height as well. Side steps on the side of the bed too. 36 gallon fuel tank and then you have a seven gallon for the DEF. Now because this is a 3500, you're gonna have five leaks in the main pack and you have two overloads. No wheel aligner actually out back. On the rear, check this out. This does have the full LED tail lights. There are actually some high countries that are here that don't even have these tail lights. I don't know why there was a supply issue with these, but when they first came out, some of the trucks were not coming with these full LED tail lights and they have a really nice design to them. But parking sensors out back, class five receiving hitch, you have two camera inputs right here for your trailer, seven pin. Now GM is still using incandescent bulbs for your license plate lights. 342 rear, and then you have a donut style for your spare, although it is wrapped in a Michelin tire. And it does have an automatic locker, backup camera, and a light that shines below for your hitch. Oh, and they already have the hitch kit already in there for you. So now you guys can kind of see how it looks there. 
four and seven pin, bed lights, spray in, 400 watts of power. Let's go ahead and step into, I wanna see if these twist. They do. So these do go side to side like that. And these are the factory ones too. So that is nice. And then you have this here. This goes up and then it pops out. Although I do prefer a handle because if you do grease the ball, your hands definitely gonna get dirty. You do have a bed view camera right here. Sliding glass. And then here's the roof. I never really showed that to you guys. But putting the tailgate back up, you push the button, it is power. And then here is slate gray in the shade. The Gen 2 L5P is probably one of my favorite diesels for 2024. The reason why is because of the power increase and how it puts that power down, not towing, but unloaded too. 470 horsepower, 975 pound-feet of torque. I think GM was conservative on these numbers. I wanna say this engine has more power because I've had a few videos, not all of them, but I've had a few videos where this engine outperforms the high output power stroke. It definitely outperforms the Ram's high output because that engine is just a medium duty setup with that transmission. But this has the stamp approved Allison, which is a 10 speed. And first, second, and third gears in these transmissions are absolutely deep. And I love how this truck puts the power down. 12 inch ring gear on the 3500s. Denzel fuel pump and injectors. Let's go ahead and check out the interior. So here's why you buy a GM truck. You literally add it just about every single option that this truck can have. And you can barely get it over $80,000. Now granted, round it off as 80 grand, I get that. But if you were to do this to a Lariat, or even a Laramie Ram, you're closer to that $90,000 range with the amount of options that you choose. But this truck has power seats for the driver's side. It does have the center console that is option, dual climate control, and it does still have power folding mirrors, heated seats, heated steering wheel. These screens do come standard, and then they do give you a handle to help you get in. Push button starts down below. But yeah, this truck comes loaded. Now on the side, you guys can see you have your electronic parking brake, your driving modes right here with tow haul, and your full wheel drive system. Some of your lighting's right there. Here are the buttons on the steering wheel. And check this out. 360 camera view is on this truck too. And that's why I say, when it comes down to pricing, it's really hard to beat a GM pickup, 100%. And I'm pretty sure here at Jerry Signer, they're probably gonna be discounting these trucks a good bit. This system does take a little bit of time to load up, but yeah, once it does, it's pretty quick. So you have different camera modes here. As I said, you have that bed view camera right there. You can zoom in if you're hooking up to a gooseneck or fifth wheel trailer. And here's just a other camera views. If you need to hook up to a conventional trailer, they give you that view too. Now this screen is fully customizable so you can remove things out of this menu here. If you wanna put your cameras right there, you have that option. And of course you can move things around inside of here too. The only downside to this truck, and I'll be honest, I'm a huge fan of these Chevy trucks. I don't like this screen. They don't give you enough information for towing. I like to see temperatures. If you guys for 2025 do temperatures, I will be so happy, but I'm pretty sure they won't. Now, there is no heads up display. And the seats in this truck, they are a little bit firmer, but I find them to be comfortable. If you like a stiffer mattress at your house, I feel like you would like these seats. But I do like the dual climate control that they give you here. And this is also easy to learn and set up trailer brakes right there. I don't know if I showed you guys a push button start. But even in here, you have this wireless charger for your phone, it's in a convenient spot. Two USBs, and then you have two more on the dash. 120 volt plug is right there. This removable tray shows you deeper storage and it is illuminated right there. And a little bit of storage at the very top. Now up here, home link, and you have LED lighting, sunroof, and you can slide the rear glass if you like. Sunroof, it's just a 
regular sunroof. They do give you the lighter color roof, unfortunately. I'm not a huge fan of that, but not a big deal. But I like the overall interior layout. I think that GM definitely fixed the interior problem that they have from 2023. Let's check out the passenger side. These seats are gonna be manually operated. So if you will like power seats on both sides, even if you get a base model LTZ, you would get power seats on both sides. This cover is wrapped in like a leather material. And here is your bed camper or truck camper as they call it. Your max capacity for that is 3,094 pounds. Out back, 60-40 bench. You do have a little bit of storage below and right here on both sides. No outboard heated seats, but you have two USBs, air vents, cup holders, seat back pockets on both sides, and a little bit of headroom bump out right there too. Let's go ahead and check out the payload. GM might not have the highest towing capacities, but they do have class leading ratings for the gross axle out back. The front's gonna be 5,600 pounds, but the rear is 7,250 pounds as far as the gross fuel equate rating it's gonna be 12,100 pounds these wheels are 18 by 8 inches wide all in payload is 3,844 pounds so that's pretty darn good for a one ton especially one that's decked out like this this has a lot of options on it sunroof leather seats spray and bed liner all that stuff 20,000 pound conventional towing 21.6 for gooseneck and then here is the tire pressure 60 up front 80 in the back this is the perfect truck for a fifth wheel. I would say max GVWR for a fifth wheel would be 14K, just so you stay within your payload capacity. But as far as the fifth wheel prep package goes, they did slide that slightly behind the axle, so it does give you better clearance compared to Ram and Ford trucks, and they have a little bit longer bed too. But be sure to check out Jerry Signer's inventory. They have a ton of HDs. Like this is the most I've ever seen them have. So if they don't have what you want, I'm sure they can find something for you. Be sure to ask for Keith, the sales manager. See you guys soon.